Okay, so let's start today's webinar. Uh, today is 2017, June 27th. Uh, this is probably, I think, almost uh, almost one year. Yeah, well, almost one year since I started my first webinar in YouTube. Right? Uh, right, I'm gonna make yeah, because, uh, uh, it is a lot of uh, work to, to be done every, every week, every day. And uh, I have uh, many students to be taking care uh, with. Uh, we have international students and we have Chinese students as well. So basically, it means that I have to, I have to do in the webinars for two times every every <laughs> every week, okay? Because uh, uh, people need to understand Chinese or understand English only that they can only join one of them. Okay? But the, uh, it's okay for me to do that because I still feel very very honored and very happy to serve all of you guys because. Uh, it is uh, it's a great experience that I can share my views and share my my thoughts and my trading logics to to, to you guys. Okay, so um, thanks for coming, and I hope you can still uh, you will still looking for me in the future if you have any questions regarding trading forex or futures. All right? Okay. So yeah, you can you can just uh, reply message. Uh, Reply me or interactive interact with me uh, through the the chatting windows. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's start from the euro dollar first. Okay. The euro dollar. The, this is a uh, uh, quite uh, important area for me to look at the euro, uh, especially the one point one three zero zero. The this uh, this uh, even handle. Okay. Uh, we know that in the last, in the, sorry, in the two, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, when the Fed increased the rate, Euro actually has a very, uh, very strong turning point at 1.12958. And look here, right now, what do we have? Guys, can you see the charts? Answer me. What, what, what do we have? What kind of, what kind of candle did the, uh, it is forming? It's going to form like a, what kind of bar is, is, is for me? Yeah, just type here, type your answers here, whatever answers. Yeah, because uh, it will be a good good uh, practice when you when you can think uh, while I'm I'm doing the webinar. When you can, you know, no, it's not break one point three one. It's it's actually a very very long ping, right? Okay, for ping bar, it does it actually fits the ping bar's criteria. The, the week is so long, it tells you a lot of sellers here. Although the buyer is trying to, you know, trying to break out to 1.1296, right? Although the buyer tries so hard to break this, but it breaks through a little bit, but didn't really get a lot of, uh, you know, people to chase the price, to push the price higher. So this scenario test tells us that 1.1295 to 1.1304 is a very, very strong resistance level, okay? So let's go to a 30 minutes chart to look at it, okay? So in 30 minutes charts, what do we have? We have a very strong bullish bar here after the Dorothy speaks, all right? It says the Euro, uh, the economy will be good and no more, you know, uh, the easing maybe, okay? So, and then after that, from today's 4, 4, 3, 4 p.m. onwards until now, it's almost seven hours, okay? The price is keeps going up, keeps going up, okay? So, in, typically in this kind of, a, this kind of a, a channel, right, you see a bullish channel starting, okay, with a bullish bar, and then, the price goes like this, okay? We don't want to chase the price. We don't want to buy. Why? Any people can give me an answer? Why we don't want to buy into this channel? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. The, 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 the microphone, all right? Okay. Okay. All right. Good. So, yeah, tell me if you see the bullish bar here and then the channel is going up. It's kind of a rising channel, right? Rising channel. Why do we don't want to buy? Although it is a it is a bullish market. 
any people can give me your guess? Why you want you don't want to buy into you know the end of them? Okay, the the real reason is okay. We don't want to we don't want to buy high. Okay, this is only reason because the price is, keeps going up. So which means although it is a bullish market, but the higher it goes, the more the more risk space you're going to have, right? So if you're buying higher and buying higher and buying higher, you are become, you know, your stop loss should be wider and wider, okay? So in this case, if you really want to buy the euro, you have to wait for it to come down first. Where will it pull back to? It may pull back to 1.1 to 37, okay? So this is a place that you may want to buy the euro, to buy a pullback, to buy a pullback here, okay? But don't buy high, especially don't buy the breakout because a lot of the time the breakout will may be a false breakout. It will come this, uh, uh, those institutional, institutional traders, you know, are selling to those people who are chasing the price higher enough, right? So right now, what we are waiting for is uh, we're waiting for price action. Okay, right now it's 9.49, uh, another 10 minutes about for this 30 minutes candle to be to be closed, okay? But if we see this bar like this, the next candle you can short, you can take a short, all right? This is a strategy. This is a pin bar strategy. You see a pin bar, okay? After the close, it really forms a pin bar, you can trade in the next opening candle. And you put a, put your stop loss just right above the pin, okay? Because if it is, keeps going higher, breaks new high, you don't want to short anymore, okay? So this is a, ping bar strategy that we want to open in the next 30 minutes candle opening if the ping bar really you know this ping is really like this best it can be a red candle best can be a red candle to see the bearish power okay and then you will have a very small stop loss range say for example if the if this uh, uh, candle stops like this in the 1.2185 okay so next opening after the close you can just short it's 1.1285 and then your stop loss should be about above 1.1307 which gives you about 20 20 pips 20 pips or 22 pips stop loss so your your return should be at least two times of your risk okay so you will have a risk reward ratio of one to two easily all right aim to aim for 1.1240 that is your first target okay and another reason we want to short the euro if the we know that because first of all, 1.13 and 1.1295 is a previous high, right? We all know that, okay? Secondly, it forms a bad pattern. There's a bearish bad pattern here, okay? Although it is the B point doesn't really fit uh, the criteria, but uh, you can still take take a very good uh, projection of the this uh, 1.1275, the 8086 level. Okay, we know that this level may becomes a resist level. Okay, so you can short and stop loss above the X point. Normally, you should give a 20 pips, uh, 20 pips range. Okay, buffer zone above the X point for the one hour chart. Okay, and you aim for 38.2 and 61.8 uh, retracement. Okay, for example, your first target should be about uh, uh, here, okay, 1.12333, 30, which is just now the what I what I draw the charts to here. Okay, well, I say I say uh, about 1.1240, right? Okay. If the drops to here, you already win 40 pips. That is good to good to take some profit, right? The second target will be 1.1189. Okay, so this is a. Uh, I think we are we are quite lucky today, right? Because the time I, I start the webinar, the euro actually gives us a shorting opportunities, right? So anyone want to take the short? Anyone want to take the short? Yeah, you can short after the this 30 minutes bar closed, right? After ping bar close, you start to short. That will be good. That will be good. All right. No. Okay. If you yeah, if you don't want to, shoot, you can just hold. You can just wait, wait for uh, better, better opportunities. All right. Or wait for some confirmation. But for me, this thirty minutes bar is actually a, a bearish bar. Okay. If you, if if in the, just after seven minutes close here, uh, you can take a short or you take a pullback short also can. All right. Okay, let's go to sterling dollar. Okay, sterling dollar is actually our 
uh, also goes to test 1.2780. Okay, uh, the level I'm, I'm waiting for is 1.2788. Okay, because this is uh, in a 30 minute chart, it's actually previous uh, neckline here. You can see here this neckline here. Okay. This is a previously, we can see there's a double top here. Okay, this is the first top. You see a double top. Okay, the second top is lower, right? Then it breaks down the neckline here. So from 1.2787 to 1.2793, this level, if the sterling does hit this level, you, you may need to find the price action to short, to take a short. And your stop loss should be above 1.2820, okay, about here. Okay, and then you are aiming for a retracement or for pullback, okay, for the study to come back to 1.2640, right? Okay, because it also, it also in the one hour chart, it actually hits into the Fibonacci, Fibonacci uh, extension of 1.618, which is also 1.2783. Okay, so typically if we hit into this zone, uh, we are expecting the price to turn, oh, turn, turn around, to become a turning point. So you find the price action to see a pink bar, you can short, aim for a big reversal. Okay, what is the PA? What do, what do you mean by what is the PA? PA means price action. PA means price action. So for the, for the sterling weight for the, for the price to rise to 1.2783 to 1.2793, Watch for the price action. If, if you can see a bearish signal comes, you can short. Okay. Uh, then let's go to dollar yen. Okay. In the last week, uh, although I didn't make any webinar, but the, before the FOMC meeting, right? If you guys, uh, if you guys can go to my channel, YouTube channel, to see my last last video before the FOMC meeting, what did, what did I say? Still remember, David? Do you remember? Yeah, project webinar for FOMC meeting June 14th, right? It's actually in my, you know, in, it's in, actually in a screenshot here. I say for the dollar yen, for the dollar yen, the 109 level is very, very, very important, right? Because this is a gap, you can see a gap. The, in, the, in, the bottom of the, in the bottom of the gap is actually a very, very great place to buy, to buy. Okay, and dollar yen, I say there's a triangle here, okay? So the trade that we take is we buy from 109, we buy from here, take some profit when it hits into the trend line, when it breaks and retest, this is a level that you can, you can buy again. This is a neckline broken and pullback trade, okay? So right now, the dollar yen already gives you a almost 300 pips profit. Uh, and things it has broken the triangle, it actually goes higher. Okay, so for the dollar yen, you can hold your buys until 113. Okay, so this is what I feel the dollar yen may still goes higher. It still goes higher. Actually, for today, it has a very good structural pullback. If you have learned my course, you know that the structure, what I'm talking about, is actually this kind of structure, right? It broken the structure, retested, okay, retested, and then now you can buy it again. Okay, so one 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 point, and in uh, I think in this morning, uh, David, you say uh, we we have some we have some discussion, right? And I say uh, dollar yen, we can buy limit from one 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 point fifty three, right? Your stop loss should be below one 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 point thirty six. You are trading, we are trading this kind of a structure, okay? Buy limit here, stop loss in the uh, below the week, okay? And right now it's very good, okay? Remember. Remember the, the the tonight today's uh, dollar yen trade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice trade, right? Yeah, I know that because uh, uh, just now some people sent me his uh, his uh, winning profits picture to me. Okay, let me just uh, post. Uh, let me just. Uh, uh, find out where log into my WhatsApp to give you guys a view. Okay, so this is a trade that uh, we discuss. So every day we are, we are discussing in our project students group. We are discussing the you know uh, the trading opportunities, right? 
and you can see that yeah see here my limit price was 1.50 right because uh, Alan says, I want to set a buy limit near to 1.50. I say, yeah, I want to be a good target. Okay, 50 is okay. And then uh, Amo uh, Gandhi actually post his uh, buying limit. And I say, I adjust his, uh, I adjust his uh, stop loss because he's trying to stall us at 1.48. That is too close. Okay. And then, uh, uh, yeah, he made the money on this, about $400. If I can download the picture. <laughs> Yeah, about the four hundred dollars. It's a it's a winning trade. So dollar yen, okay, it's broke so one 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 two point zero six, which is very good. So dollar yen keeps just keeps all your long holding. Okay, enjoy the return, enjoy the return, and take profit at one one three. Okay, uh, for the for the Aussie dollar, let's look at the Aussie dollar. Okay, Aussie dollar, I didn't take a short uh, until it. Pit into 1 point, 0 0.0.7 to 60. Okay, here actually a potential multiple tops, and uh, the price did pull back to 618. Okay, and now it's actually below 618. So for the Aussie dollar, you can short from 1 point, 0 0.0.7597 to 0 0.7636. This uh, 36 pips range is a very good place to short because this is a 2618 trade. Okay, we have a uh, Double top or triple top here. Okay, it's actually a double top. Pull back to 618, a little bit up, but didn't break high. Okay, as long as it didn't break higher, you can short and then go for a big move. Okay, so short OG from 0 0.76 is okay. All right. And then let's go to the gold. Okay, the gold, the gold actually will have a very nice move. Uh, after the the FOMC meeting, right? In the meeting, before the meeting, in my last video, I say, wait for 1 to 80 level, right? Wait for the 618, okay? Didn't really touch, but you see a pin bar about here, so you can short right after pin form, right? You just take a short from any 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 place, like 1.1277 1 to 1280, you are a big winner, you're a big winner. And then, uh, just on Monday, yesterday, it actually a very, Quick, quick, our uh, uh, bearish candle comes, and then uh, it is uh, very good for us to use this structure pullback. Okay, we can see the support here. This is support. This is support. It breaks down, right? Breaks down, and then pulls back. So in my trading view, I say uh, wait for the gold to go back to near one to sixty level. If you remember. Hey guys, give you some answers. Give me some feedbacks. All right? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you remember? Do you see my see my charts for the gold? I say gold breakdown important support of one to sixty. Right? And then I post these charts. Right? The, this is the structure we test. So if you are if you if you can wait if you can wait for the structure you are you catch a very nice trade because from one to sixty or one to fifty seven to one to thirty seven that is a huge Profit, right? Three hundred pip. You can look at here. This is uh, this is a structure that we I I I should identify for all of you. If you know how to trade the structure, okay? Support, 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 and drop. Wait for retest and short, right? You can easily make more than one hundred pips. Now you can see the see the structure pullback. Boom! It actually comes down, right? The, pull, the pullback actually is about here. Okay, although it takes a couple of days to wait to before it pulls back to here. And right now, right now, where where is gold right now? The gold is, you know, had since yesterday's the very huge downwards momentum, and now today it's pulled back again, right? And where does it pull back to? It pulls back to the previous structure here, about one one two fifty three, and cannot close above it. Right? So in this kind of a yeah, what do you think of gold? I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, right? So you can use the same strategy to short gold again, right? Because this this level is is become previous become support and now should become as a resistance, right? So if you if you see the gold cannot go above one two fifty three, you can short 
and aim for downside move because all this all this move are just corrections just corrections okay it actually breaks the 1242 support it breaks all the weeks it breaks it means that there's no more support here the, the support is actually very very weak okay there's a lot of buyers who are buying from 1 to 35 okay and put the price to 1 to 53 for the institutional players to sell it again so gold you can take a short as long as it didn't go above 1 to 54 okay uh, where are where I'm now? China or Singapore? Yeah, I'm now in China. Uh, I'm in China now, and uh, I just came back from Singapore uh, last week because yeah, uh, I'm uh, still planning for my for my for my uh, trading academy, the, the the trading institutions in China. So I'm I'm doing the preparation in Shanghai. Yeah. What do you want to come to meet me? Who? Oh. Who are you? Can, can you tell me your name? <laughs> yeah, tell me your name and, and just uh, give me a call and let's uh, fix a day to meet. All right, it's okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see any, uh, anyone to, to come. All right. Well, today is a lot of, uh, a lot of people comes, right? Well, 50, 50, more than 50 people. And good, that's good. Okay, so for the gold, our, our view is as long as the gold is below 1253 to 1254, below this range, we are bearish on gold. Okay. For the uh, quick target, you can set as 1245, take a short. This will be your first target, okay? And then the second target will be lower, okay? It will be breaks this level, we will go further goes down, further go down, okay? And in the daily chart, you can see the gold is actually still very, very bearish, okay? It's actually bearish, Keeps going and then pulls back, cannot go higher anymore, and just another another bar drop down, right? Okay, it already tested the previous structure here. So if the gold can maintain the bearish channel, it actually goes down furthermore. Uh, what I feel is to go to one to twenty first. Okay, it may go to one to twenty. Okay, to this structure. Yeah, this is there is a trend line support. Yes, you are right. Uh, some people are using a trend line support, okay, like this, okay. But what you see, uh, what I feel is this trend line support is, is already broken. It's already broken. It doesn't. If the support is good, it shouldn't become like this. It should become like touch and go up, okay. It doesn't want to break and you know to struggle into pulls back, okay. So right now for the gold, it's actually a good time to short it again, okay. The stop loss should be above one two sixty. This is your stop loss. And you are aiming for a very big move. Okay, let's check for oil. Okay, oil, we have a very nice trade from 52, right? From 51, okay, this level we short from here. Again, as you can see in my trading view, right? So this is a very, very nice trade if you take okay, easily 500 pips. Okay, from 49 to 42, well, that is 70 pips, 700 pips. Okay, we short from the pullback at 49, short the pullback from 40, 48, right? And then just hold your short till the target, uh, all the targets are hit. Okay, and I say the oil will, will test 44 and 42, maybe, maybe this week, 42.50. Okay, and now it touched and goes up. Okay, and I'm, I'm thinking about the oil may have a, uh, this kind of uh, bearish channel okay, It actually breaks a little bit okay, Which tells you that the bearish momentum is no longer stronger than before so You can wait for the oil to go back to, to, to test the to test the low a second time and, and the, if the second test cannot break down you can take a buy and you can consider a 0.32 to here about a 45.82 that would be your target okay so all you'll be careful don't short don't short because the break the downtrend you may want to buy this pullback or typically a 618 pullback that that's what you can you can you can wait okay it's actually a <coughs> still a ranging session here because this bar is too wide it's all inside this bar okay we, can, we call this a mother bar or inside bar Okay. So within this fast range from 42 to 44.20, it is actually a ranging session. 
okay? <laughs> yeah, it's a ranging session. So you either wait for it to break up and pulls back and buy, or you wait from you want to you want to wait for pull pull back to the bottom. Okay. If you cannot close above, cannot close below, you can consider to buy. Okay. It's this kind of uh, preparation. Okay. So yeah, that's for oil and let's go to the Kiwi dollar. The Kiwi dollar is very, very strong today, but actually the complete the bearish butterfly pattern. Okay, so this butterfly pattern are I think Alan Ken did a very good job, right? Ken, are you here? Yeah, Ken did a very good job for the for the Kiwi. It's actually uh yes. Yeah, and thanks for Ken for your charts because you Give me a very very good entry level, okay? 0.73289, okay? And the moment I see a pink bar, I short it, okay? I take a short of Kiwi as well, yeah. This is a very beautiful reversal pin, okay? It's such a nice pink bar. You see the pink bar, you short at the next candle, you win, All right? And now it's turn. Now it's about uh, ten o'clock already, All right? So. Let's check for the euro dollar. Let's check for the euro dollar whether does the pink bar form nicely. Yes. So who shot the euro at the ten o'clock? Tell me who shot it. I say if the ten o'clock thirty minutes bar forms like the pink here, you can short right after it, right? One point one two eighty eight, and now you already have ten pips. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Congratulations. You do a good job. Okay. So this is a beautiful reversal, right? Short after the pain and hold for at least what to risk reward ratio. Okay. All right. Good luck. Yeah. It's very lucky day. Huh? I think the first time that, uh, when I start the webinar, the price is right, uh, right that we can we can take a trade. You're in profit. That's good. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the Kiwi dollar. So uh, I'm looking for the Kiwi to to go go down further because it's a, it's, this is actually a false breakout. Okay. Goes up, shoots higher, and all the way comes down. And now the Kiwi is already below the yesterday's low, uh, yesterday's high. So which means the 0 0.7300 become a resistance, resistance again so once the kiwi dollar breaks the trend line it will continue to go down continue to go down okay so hold the kiwi shorts uh i will i was thinking to hold it for quite a long time because kiwi dollar is rise from may okay almost two months so in the next stage we go down maybe to 0 0.7050 first so this is a very big swing trade you can catch. All right, okay, let's move on to our dollar Canada. Okay, uh, hold on first. Uh, I need to I need to take a drink. Uh, to take a water. Just give me two minutes. All right, very quick. Okay, okay, I'm back. Okay, so Dollar Canada, okay, it's actually a, a kind of a consolidation about 1.3180 to 1.3340. Okay, right now it's in a kind of a, a bearish trend. Okay, you can see here, breaks new low, retest, and almost want to break another new low, right? So pay attention to this level, which is the neckline here this this place okay 1.3176 77 uh 67 because the dollar cat has uh, become a resistance for this level for quite a long time okay one two three and now break after the breakup it actually tested so this level i'm thinking we have some bias here and don't forget this is a pink bar here okay, this pink bar makes some sense makes makes sense so we go to one hour chart we go to one one hour chart. What we can see is here, 
uh, the door calendar is kind of a consolidation. Okay, looks like the breaks a new low in the, in the intraday trade, but just below this structure, it has a very beautiful support here. So pay attention to the price action when the price keeps te testing the 1.3165. If the price can stop here, you can buy. You can buy. Or, or, or alternatively, you can consider, yes, David, you are right, the AB equals to CD pattern because we have a, this is AB pattern, right? And we wait for the AB pattern to complete to another CD pattern. In a, about 1.3155. Okay, so dollar cat is almost complete the bearish target, so it may become a time for us to long the dollar cat. Okay, may become a time for us to long the dollar cat, but we need to pay attention for the price action first to make sure that we have a good price action. Okay, about this level. All right, okay, what's next? Okay, SPX 500. Okay. So the S&P is uh, ranging right now in a very high place. Uh, however, however, it actually retests the previous structure here. So this one tells me the 2450 is now becomes a very, very strong resistance level. So if anyone who short from here, now you can take profit. But if you don't have short, you don't have a shorting trade right now, you should wait for a pullback to short again. Okay, don't short, don't short at a low price. Okay, short when it pull back. It may pull back to here. It may pull back to this level, 1442. Okay, so pay attention for this, for this pullback, and then take a short. Okay, stop loss above the pin, because now the, the S&P, the high is getting lower, you see here? It's a high and lower high. And now we have a low, but we have an equal low, not not a lower low. So you either need to wait for the pullback to short, and then wait for the closer below, and take another short at the structure pullback here. Okay, this is what you can anticipate. It. Okay, you short from about here, take some profit here. If it breaks down, pulls back again, you short again. Understand? <coughs> if you understand, please reply me by nine. You just tag me, tag nine. This is this is what is the strategy for the results, the trading logics, log logics. Okay, you either short the high, aim for low, and when low is broken, pulls back, you short it again. Yes, number nine. Yeah, just 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 press press nine. Yeah, just give me some evidence that you are still with me. All right, thanks. Only only three people. <laughs> okay, Jeremy Ling. Oh, good to see you. That's good. Okay, so we want to short the high. We want to sell the breakout and pull back. Okay, that's another short. Okay, so right now wait for the price to come back, but don't buy because I don't see a very good support. It's all very very messy here. Okay, so noisy. Okay, the S and P may go down to here. Two three ninety maybe. Okay, so um, uh, I think that's almost uh, almost everything that we get. We uh, already touched the euro, sterling, Aussie, Kiwi, dollar cad, dollar yen, uh, S and P, oil, and gold. Right? Okay. Any questions? Any questions or any specific or uh, euro Kiwi? Okay. Okay. Good questions. So euro Kiwi today, I'm looking for. Because I found the Euro Kiwi is testing a previous gap here. See, this is a beautiful, beautiful buying opportunity. It's just saying as dollar yen. You see here the gap, 1.52. That is a beautiful reversal. So you can see here the downtrend is broken, right? So you can buy Euro Kiwi, buy Euro Kiwi. This chart is so similar like the dollar yen. So dollar yen, once you now you buy at the gap, right? You might have a wow, well, that is a 200 pips move. So for the euro kiwi, you can wait for a pullback to 1.5398 and buy it again. Wait for the pullback to the structure and buy. Okay, dollar index. Okay, for DXY, uh, I say 
96.65 is very, very strong support. Okay, so dollar index, you can buy, you can buy, and the ABCD pattern is completed. It's already completed here, completed 96.7. So you can buy the dollar index, stop loss below 96.32. All right, and uh, I think the dollar will go strong. To 99, yeah, because this is a bottom, bottom structure, bottom uh, patterns. Okay, goes up, goes to make a higher high and pulls back ABCD pattern. And you buy from ABCD and you have a long target at 99.50. All right, okay, that's all for today. All right, uh, remember to go to my website, harmonicasia.com, for for my course information because I'm teaching you guys how to you know apply all the strategy to the markets okay because I will teach you the six skills that to understand the markets to buy low sell high to identify the patterns the ABC the guardian the butterfly whatever patterns okay to identify the uh, stop loss and profit ticking level to plan your trade and trade your plan okay and how to how to do it in a consistent way okay so a lot of things I'm teaching you here and remember this course I have been teach I have been teaching this course for almost uh, one year already okay and right now we have a very uh, very strong students group okay about one almost 100 people here and every day think about trade nice nice thanks trade okay very good you show euro all right, thank you. Well, oh, that's 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 great, David. Thanks for your updating here. All right, we have a very strong students group, and every day our students will be posting the charts, okay, and discuss where is the trading opportunities here, okay. And I will keep mentoring on my students in this group. All right, so go to the. You can take my course. You're going to become a full-time trader, okay? Because we have a lot. We have created so many winning trades and so many, you know. Beautiful risk reward trade, okay, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, students are really making money. Or some people even buy and bought a new car, okay. And then uh, my YouTube channel will be uh, just search for Project. You'll see my channel, okay. Uh, just for search for Project in my channel, you can see all, all my videos. Okay, I think my my first video will be the, the yeah almost one year. It's really. Yeah, is it two? Ah, okay. Oh, I don't. I didn't realize realize that I have doing this for almost one year. See here. Yeah, it's actually a very very consistent consistent uh, activity that I, I carry on for all the investor education. Okay, for the uh, for to help people to to to. To understand the markets and trying to make some money from the trades but not losing money yeah yeah i will keep doing this okay i'm keep doing this because as long as there's a demand for learning how to trade i will be there to give my solution with my thoughts okay okay favor ask uh, can we short kiwi right now or miss the earlier trade okay let's look at it let's look at the kiwi right now see whether we have uh, we have a shorting opportunities here. Okay, hold on. I think my my my, my chart is running slow. Don't know what happened. Okay, maybe I change uh, for another another charting company. Okay. Okay, let's see the Kiwi.
Sorry, I think the web. The, the, okay, it comes here. Well, gold drops nicely. You get from 1 to 52, so keep your gold short. For the Kiwi, let's uh, move. Look at the Kiwi. Okay, Kiwi now is 0 0.7281. Okay, looks like it already breaks the the, the support trend line here. Or already breaks. Okay, so favor if I were you, I missed the trade here. I will take a pullback short from uh, if the price pull back to the 0 0.7 to 90 level or touch the trend line here. I will choose that. If you want to see a very uh, more specific area, I will look at the five minute charts. It actually tells you it will be here. This part will be this level 0 0.7296 to 0 0.7290. Yep, will be this level. So find a pullback to here and we, we want to short it again. Okay, yeah, but right now I don't want to chase the price. I'm going to wait for the pullback. Okay, and here you can see the price consolidation and the boom breaks down, goes back, tested, goes down again. So uh, 0 0.7290 to 0 0.73 is to become a very, very important setting zone for the Kiwi dollar, okay? All right, that's all for today. Thanks for coming. And uh, yeah, I will keep posting the charts, keep giving you the webinars in, uh, through this uh, internet, you know, our meetings. And also I will record, I, yeah, I will <coughs> uh, go to the, Upload my upload my videos in, in the YouTube. Okay. Okay, so this is the channel you see me here. I will upload the recordings here. You can go to uh, have some uh, recap. Okay. And then welcome to join my students club. Okay, because we have a lot of uh, good traders have been, you know, uh, yeah, become uh, very, very uh, brilliant traders right now and we are discussing the trading ideas every day and it's for it's, it is free after you take the course will be <coughs> free okay all right take your trade plan your trade and uh, trade your plan that's uh, what i want to tell you guys so we have a very nice euro short we have a kiwi short we have gold short and uh, uh dollar yen we are holding the long right basically yeah we are bullish on the dollar okay so just uh, hold it and uh, we will have some profit next week. Okay, see you next time. All right, this is Jack. Okay, welcome. Bye-bye.